Okay, so let's do some more with these gradient colors. So, in my code editor, I got the CSS, and here's the HTML. But I'm going to go back to this colors.css, and I want to change some of these colors. So I'm going to Google hexadecimal colors. I'm going to open up a new tab. Hexadecimal colors, right here. W3 schools, I'm going to try that. Now I have a pick a color. I'm going to go and pick kind of like a turquoise color. Now you see all these colors right here, these numbers right here with the hashtags? Those are hexadecimal colors. I'm going to copy one of them. Hashtag 66FFFF. We'll take that hexadecimal color and put it in place of the blue. i save that. Now you see the new color here. So I'm going to try that again. This time I'm going to pick a red. I want to pick a darker red. How about hashtag 991F00. Copy it. Replace the red with it. Oh, I need the hashtag. That would not work. Save it. Refresh. Now I have different colors, but if I want to change them again, I would have to go back to that website, copy and paste. I would like to have a color palette right up here so that I could make changes in that and it would reflect the changes right here. Let's try that. Let's go back to the text editor and open up File. And you see in the scripts folder, there's a, another folder called JS Color. Let's open that. So let's open jscolor.js. This is a JavaScript library like jQuery that we're going to link to. Okay, we see we have a JavaScript color picker. Version 1.4.4. General public license means that it's free to use. Let's take a look at this website. Let's copy this and paste it in the address bar. You can find out more about JS Colors here on this website. We'll come back here in a little while. I already have my HTML file open so I'm going to go to that. And let's create another div. Since I'm going to be wrapping up more input elements in this div, I'm going to give it a class name of Input Wrapper. So with this other div down here, I need to give this some kind of a class. Give it gradients. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Now I just remembered that we have two divs in the HTML and in the CSS. Let's go to the CSS. This div right here is the one where we put the gradients. So I'm going to add gradients, right? Okay, so I also want to add another style for the other div. This div with the class of input wrapper. I'm going to give that another style. Now my input wrapper, I want to position it. Position absolute. Top, I want to give it like 2% just so it's not right on the top. A left, zero. A width, of 18%. And a height, of 100%. Now I want to be able to see it, so I'm going to give it a border. Solid, two pixels, white. Save it. Refresh. Okay, so now we have this area right here. This is where I'm going to put all my input tags. So let's go back to the HTML. In the input wrapper, I'm going to add an input. Type 
equals text. I also want to go back to that website, jscolors.js, and I, I see in here the quick installation. One, include jscolor.js in your web page. So let's do that. In the head section, let's create a script tag. Let's check our relative path. I'm going to go to File. Now I see the Scripts folder. And in the Scripts folder, I got JS Color. And then I got JS Color.js. So I'm going to write script slash JS Color slash JS Color. JS. So now let's go back to jscolor.com and look at the second step. Okay, right here it says add a new class, jscolor, to all desired inputs. Okay, we're going to do a little bit something different. This is an older version of jscolors that we're using, and so to make this work, we need that class equals only color. Okay, let's save that and let's look at it. Refresh. And now we have this color palette. So this is going to be really helpful because when we click on any of these colors, the hexadecimal color becomes the value of the input. Now we can take the value and dynamically change the gradient color within the gradient box. And we'll do that in the next video.